Remember Flowize? It's an amazing drag and drop UI for building your own customized large language model flow. You can build and customize various different large language model applications within a couple of minutes. Just like how Flowize has an easy and user friendly drag and drop UI, I have found another app that replicates the same idea as Flowize. Introducing Active Pieces. It's an open source project that is an all-in-one automation tool and it's designed to be extensible through a type safe pieces framework written in TypeScript. For example, watch how someone uses active pieces to create a new flow that sends out tweets every single hour. Now these tweets are AI generated and they create these outputs with whatever language model you would like to generate it with. Now this is just one of many other examples that we can cover with active pieces. Throughout today's video, we're going to explore as we go more in depth with what you can do with this tool as well as showcasing how you can get started. So stay tuned and with that thought, let's get right into it. If you are not a part of our private discord, you are definitely missing out. We give out paid subscriptions for AI tools for free guys. You're able to get amazing knowledge different types of courses, research papers, as well as different networking and consulting opportunities. If you're interested in any of this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below as it will definitely elevate your AI game. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Hey guys, I started this new thing where if you want to book a one on one with me, you can definitely do so with the link in the description below. I can be giving you my consulting in various different aspects, whether that's AI related, entrepreneurship and so much more. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at the link in the description below. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at active pieces. And this is something that is quite similar to Flowwise, as it features a user friendly drag and drop UI. And but in this case, it's used for building customized workflows with large language models. Now, in this case, we can see that there's many different ways for you to implement into your workflow, which could improve productivity, it could automate your business, and it can do many different things that could be beneficial for you. In this case, you're able to scale your business with AI and they have many different examples over here that you can see and go through the automation. In this case, someone was able to scale your SEO content with ChatGPT right into your WordPress site. And this goes alongside with the different types of pieces that are associated with active pieces. These pieces are basically just other APIs or other integrated applications that could be used to automate your different types of workflows that you can create. In this case, you have active bots, 136 available pieces, sorry. And we have active bot, Airtable, you have Amazon, Asana, you have Cal.com, Calendly, if you keep on going, you're able to load so much more in cases you're able to have it so that it can integrate different types of plugins, which can help with data mapping. You have data helper, set delays, work with Dropbox, CSV. And if you just keep on going further and further, you can see that there's many different ranges of integrated apps that focus on many different categories. You have things that can help you with your photos, all the way to payment providers so it just gives you a good idea that they have basically made it so that you have every single tool at your doorstep and these tools will definitely automate and make sure that it increases your productivity if you are to use active piece into your business let's actually take a look at some of the cool features that are associated with active piece now we mentioned this at the start this is a no code builder, which basically means that it's a friendly drag and drop UI. And this can be used for many different things to build automations without writing code. And this is through their intuitive builder. You can see over here on this example that they were able to create different types of tweets every single hour with ChatGPT. This is just one single simple flow that they were able to create. You have conditions and loops. This is where you're able to build custom logic with our branch and loop pieces. This basically allows you to schedule different types of meetings, have it so that it's in a certain loop. You can configure it so that there's many different approaches for you to map data 
have it so that it's looped in a certain way so that it can create different types of logic within this loop or this condition that active pieces has you're able to send http http requests this is so that you can have any endpoint with the generic http piece this is something that we're going to actually explore as we go further into the video where we explore active piece further on with the ui so definitely stay tuned with that part in the video and lastly you have the right code when you want this is a feature that lets you use JavaScript to code out any sort of application or any sort of edit that you would like to implement for your workflow. So this gives you a good flexibility to do many different things with the active piece framework. Now, another amazing feature with active pieces is that you're able to gain visibility into the automation runs. This allows you to see how the automation process is working by monitoring each step of your runs. It lets you identify and address issues promptly using their straightforward logging system. It tells you where things went wrong, what you should implement to basically improve the flow, as well as giving you what best usage is used for these different types of workflows. So this gives you a good step-by-step -step process in creating and automating your workflows with active pieces. Now on their feature page, they have many other types of exciting features. So if you're interested in this, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. In this case, you have 100 plus pieces to use in your automation, which is something we saw previously. You're able to use different types of templates to start your workflow from you're able to have the most intuitive automation builder. You have loops, transparent logs, write code when you feel like it, use the web hooks or schedule triggers. You're able to implement different types of team members into your project, and you're allowed to keep your flows organized in folders. These are just one of many other types of features that are associated with active pieces. Now let's get to the next step where we go more in depth with the pricing structure. So you must be wondering, why is this guy talking about pricing? Well, don't worry guys, it's completely free. You don't need to worry about this. This is the cloud version and we can see if we click on on perm, which is the version that you host on your own hardware, it's 100% free. It's open source, which means that you're able to host it on your own hardware completely for free. So don't worry about the pricing. You're able to download this with their documentation, which we'll take a look at later on in the video. This lets you host the active piece framework onto your local hardware. But if you are to run it on your cloud, you can definitely do so by using the free plan, which won't allow you to do a lot of things, but it's more than enough. In my opinion, you get a thousand tasks per the month. Now, in my opinion, the platform fee is kind of absurd to charge for 250 for the features that they have. I, in my opinion, it's best to just host it on your own if you can, but if not, just use their preferral plan as that's the best available option that you may have. But that's basically it for the pricing plan. Let's get to the next step where we talk a little bit more about the documentation. Now on their documentation, they give you a good demonstration as to how you can build different types of flows. They talk about passing the data, publishing flows, as well as debugging them. So if you're interested in all of this, definitely recommend you read through all of this so you can get a better idea as to how you can implement certain things. You also have permissions that you can set, have it so that it can manage different types of pieces, and they have tutorials on integrated applications. So if you're interested in that, you should definitely read through so you can get a better idea. They have developers tab, which lets you talk a little bit more about the pricing, how you can implement it in different workflows. You have the pieces tab, which lets you explore different pieces as to how you can incorporate them. You have it so that you can deploy it locally through a Docker, Docker Compose, or through AWS. And you're also able to integrate it with Discord, which is really, really cool. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how you can get started with the cloud version. Now, obviously, as I showcased, you can get started with Docker. So if you're going to be using the open source method, definitely use Docker as that's the best method. But in the case of this video, we're just going to show the cloud version. In this case, once you have created an account, you can get started by creating your first flow. You can create a demo flow with the demo that they have provided, or you can start off by building your own flow. You can see on the top right, you have the quota, which is the thousand tasks per the month. Now, if you go over here, you also have a chatbot feature. Now, this is where you can create your own chatbot with your own data. This is 
letting you have so much more flexibility. This is something that I actually prefer more than FlowWise as you're able to create more intricate AI applications. You're able to showcase different runs that you have created with the different flows. You have different connections of applications that you can integrate as well as having different types of members integrated within your own application. Now, this is a gift where you can refer a friend for a free task. In this case, we don't need that if we're going to be hosting it locally. But in this case, I'm going to create my own flow. You have different types of filters. You have the chat GPT filter. You have content creation, social media, customer service, marketing automation, and analysis. You can select from the 100 plus different integrated applications. In this case, if you have an e-commerce store, you can simplify processing of different types of workflows quite easily with the payment providers that are provided you can set triggers have it connected to other types of embodied like uh, i would say nodes and in this case we're just going to select stripe for example have it so that it's integrated with shopify so in this case you can create a customer create an invoice that could be sent which is a trigger when you go onto the site when you check out it will send out a trigger for a post purchase, for example, and this post purchase can send out an email to your customer stating, would you like to purchase this on top for an additional discount? And this is a way for you to integrate into your workflow using AI. You can integrate the working large language model, which can help you formulate the emails as well as the generation that is needed to send out to the customer and that basically concludes today's video on active pieces this is an amazing drag and drop friendly ui for building customized workflows using ai so i hope you found this video to be quite beneficial thank you guys so much for watching i'll leave all these links in the description below make sure you check out the private discord if you would be interested in free subscriptions to ai tools if you want to get the daily ai news content definitely follow world of ai on twitter and lastly make sure you guys subscribe to the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly shortly <laughs> i cannot talk tonight but peace out fellas